Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everyone, thanks for stopping by Grant's Beer Reviews today, I do appreciate it. Guys, this is uh, Laurel from New Park Brewing. These guys uh, are up in Connecticut. Uh, this is their New England IPA. This is an 8 percenter, so technically it's a double IPA. And that's what it has on the can here, double IPA. Uh, once it gets to the 8 percent range, it's, it's a double IPA. This was sent to me by Christian, and he writes his he and his wife Sarah picked these up at the brewery within a week or so when they were canned, uh, and he says this, that brewery has gained a lot of momentum recently, and a lot of people uh, in Connecticut that don't feel like making the track to Treehouse or Trillium are going to this brewery, and uh, they're producing some tasty beers. So, uh, very solid. IPAs and double IPAs to me. It's got a can on date on it, but the, the dating machine is off whack on this particular can. I can't see the month because it's up on the rim and I can't read it, uh, but it does have the day and the year very easy to read. I'm just assuming since he just picked them up and he just sent them to me that it's a seven, seven month. And it says canned on and I can't read the, uh, the month because it's up on the rim and it didn't, it didn't print it. Uh, so I'm going to say 07 to 10 of 19. So, uh, and we're at the end of August here. So, uh, still should be very tasty, guys. Uh, not super old. Definitely within the three month window that I give IPAs and double IPAs. So, uh, thanks again to Christian and his wife Sarah uh, for picking it up and getting it to me. Uh, Let's see what else we have to talk about. Uh, Untapped has no commercial description, no IBUs, and if I go down to the bottom, I don't have anything at very obvious. So we don't have a commercial description on this uh, this guy, this one here today, guys. So uh, it is what it is. It's a plain Jane Silver can, 16 ounce with a wraparound stick on label, and that, in my opinion, that's how it should be done. Instead of printing up a bunch of fancy artwork on the can, it's going to get the way of recycled. <clears throat> Into the glass we go. Very hazy coming out. Very cloudy. All right. Very colorful artwork on the label that they put on it. Uh, about a finger and a half of head on that pour. Looks like a glass of orange juice. Very hazy, very cloudy, not a lot of light coming through it. Good looking New England style IPA. To the nose we go. Oh yes, very pleasant. Uh, hop forward notes on this. Pine, grapefruit, oranges, tangerines. Uh, maybe a little pineapple and mango. Smells absolutely delicious guys. A very nice nose on this. And I can understand why the people close to this brewery are, are buying their beers instead of uh, making the trek to Trillium or Treehouse, even though both of those breweries are producing outstanding world class beers. These guys are kicking on the door. They just need to correct their dating machine because I can't see the month on, on this particular one. It's up on the rim and it missed it. So uh, let me adjust that thing over a little bit so it's printing in the center there so we can see it. But I know it's fresh because he's telling me it is. He just picked it up at the brewery within a week or so of being canned. Smells awesome, guys. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Christian and Sarah. Thank you both. And Sean. Uh, I don't know if he had anything to do with this one, but eh, it is what it is. I do appreciate all three of them contributing to the beer mile package that was sent to me by Christian. So, And the head is dissipated now with a little less than a finger. Does look like orange juice. Let's dive in.
very nice. Nice mouthfeel. Once you get into the double IPAs to me, it has more body, more mouthfeel, less watery if you will. This is very pleasant. Very easy drinking alcohol. Super well hidden for an 8%er. Very well done beer. These guys, if they continue doing these beers, they will be right there with Trillium and Treehouse. The breweries around here doesn't do anything like this guy. They do not. That's why I haven't been to any of them around here lately in the last couple of years. So just <clears throat> a lot of them don't produce uh, this style of beer. And if you do, you have to go to the brewery to get it. They don't can it. They don't bottle it. Uh, so they're more or less catering to the transitional beer drinkers, trying to get those people into some of their beers. But the seasoned craft beer drinker is not going to be impressed by what they're producing and either canning or bottling right now. Now that may change, but still, a lot of people that are drinking craft beers are getting more and more into the style. More and more breweries are producing this style of beer around the country and around the world uh, that really appeal to the hop heads, as myself. So, let's do the back end pour. We're going to swirl it around just a little bit, make sure everything is going to come out. That's a good looking beer right there. Very cloudy, very hazy. Looks like orange juice in the glass, guys. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. But anyway, uh, good looking beer, great tasting beer. It's right out of the fridge. It's cold, so I'm going to take it outside on the deck and sip on it for a little while. And we'll come back and give it a grade. Be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I've been sipping on it for a while. Very nice slicing. It's left on the glass. Very pleasant hop aroma. Very nice hop presence and the taste. A very well made beer. I call it well hidden. A lot of tropical fruit notes going on. Uh, other than their dating machine being a little off quack or off kilter there and not printing it in the center of the can and riding up on the lip of the can. I don't know if they, they're having a problem that, with that machine not doing what it's supposed to do there. Uh, but you need, you need to be able to see that, guys. Uh, you need to be able to see the month and the year on this beer, and you can't see the month. I'm taking uh, Christian's word for it that he got it at the brewery and within a, within a week or so of canning date. But you need to have that on there, guys, where it can be read and not just a day in a year or a year or whatever. All, that, all three of those bits of information need to be printed on there where you can see it. And it may be just an anomaly where this one can just got twisted or something or something happened there where it printed, printed up on the lip but if it's printing them all like that that's not good that's not good so uh, uh, to me to me guys what what's happened on this one even though it's a very tasty beer if you say oh my god it's a 10 beer or a 9 beer I wouldn't argue with that at all. It is a very tasty beer and I would buy this beer if I could get it here if I could read the date on the bottom of it. So, and I cannot on this one. I can't see the month. Uh, so, uh, I'm taking Christian for his word and he bought that to brewery and it's, and, and on top of that, I don't know if they're distributing anywhere uh, or you have to buy everything at the brewery or not. I don't have that information, guys, but I enjoyed it. It's very, very tasty beer. Like I said, if I could read the date on it, and it's got the ABV on it, I would buy it. I would buy it. No doubt. Very tasty. Final choke. A very, very well made double IPA. And I was probably going to give this a solid A. And it is a solid A. But it's a solid A and the name mine is Cam because I can't read that date on it. So that's where I'm going to put it. I'm, I'm judging on what I have here. Even though he's telling me it was within a week or two old when he bought it. You have to have the date on it. It has to be readable. I mean, if it's all smeared and you can't read it, um, it makes a difference to me, guys. And I'm not going to argue with you. Oh, that's an A beer or an A. That's a 10 beer. 
I'm not gonna argue with that. Yeah, it, it is. It's pretty damn tasty. But I gotta be able to see that ABV on it, and I gotta be able to read that date on it. So uh, I'm gonna give it to A minus this time, and I'm gonna give it a 94. It's kicking the door down to get into that A category, but I can't read the month on it. So that's where I'm gonna put it. That's where I'm gonna put it. Even though I'm telling you, I would buy that beer if I could read that date, month, day, and year and it's got the ABV on the front of it, I would buy it here. That's the biggest recommendation I can give to a beer, but uh, just a little disappointed that they're printing, this can is printed the way it is. So, with that being said, let's jump over to Beer Advocate. They say 92 outstanding. That's also in their A- minus category. And I think it's better than a 92. That's why I gave it a 94. Uh, and over to Untapped, they have it at 4.21. Again, that's in their A- minus range. So, if I could read the date on the bottom of it, I would give this a solid A because I enjoyed it. It was very tasty, a very well-made beer for an 8 percenter. Alcohol is well hidden, a lot of juicy fruit notes, a lot of big hot flavors and, and aromas. Very well done. So maybe I got I got an anomaly can here that they, they absolutely it printed it off kilter. Uh, but if all of them are printed like that, uh, they need to fix something. So, with that being said, uh, if you've had the Laurel from New Park Brewing, their Imperial or Double IPA at 8%, let me know what you think. It is a 2019 edition. Until we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.